How's it going and welcome to my player video on Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frostmaiden. In this video we're going to look at several things you should consider when making your character for this awesome adventure. Number one is the tried and true classic of consult your DM. Never just go blindly make your character and just slap it on into the table. Always either while creating your character or after creating your character, talk to your DM to see if this character is right for the campaign. If you build a character that's all about combat and your DM tells you that this game is more about roleplay and exploration, you're not going to have a fun time. Also, a thing to consider is you don't want to overlap with several of the other people unless you, you know, collaborate and want to. You really don't want to come together with the table and have two character concepts that are so similar that you guys are basically overshadowing each other. Uh, so always consult your DM, try and push for that session zero, and collab with your friends at the table. Number two, don't be from Icewind Dale. The name of the game, Icewind Dale, we know it's there, no spoilers here. We know that the adventure takes place in Icewind Dale, and we know it revolves around the Ten Towns. Don't have a character from here, maybe they have only just recently arrived, or they are just coming here right as the campaign starts. Lean into the exploration aspect of this adventure. Nothing takes the fun out of a scene that the DM's describing when a player has to sit there and raise their hand and say, Do I know this? Have I met this person before? Have I seen this? Have I heard of it? Lean into the exploration and the new of this mystery, of this exotic and crazy place, and really, really dive headfirst into your character's eyes because both you and the character are going to be seeing this land for the very first time. Number three, secrets. It is no secret that there is secrets in this campaign for individual players. If your DM decides to scrap all this, then there is no secrets. But if your DM is leaning into this and either assigns you all secrets or assigns you to create your own, really make it unique and make it shine. I personally would recommend that you discuss with your DM to have them give you a random secret because this will really put you in the headspace of this character having to deal with whatever secret you're being involved with. The book comes with some fantastic secrets, however I'm going to have a link down below which will lead to even further secrets which can really make your campaign unique and sow the seeds of uh, secrecy. Number four, race and class. Your DM might be trying to tell a story that has no whimsical nature to it and thus doesn't want any player being a goblin or a kobold. Maybe your DM wants to tell a horrifying adventure where you're on the brink of starvation and death and thus doesn't want you playing a warforged. Several races get rid of certain aspects of campaigns or maybe add certain aspects to campaigns that both the group and the DM doesn't want involved. So always consider that when building your character. In regards of class though, class really shouldn't matter for this campaign unless your DM is tired of those pesky bards ruining everything. Or maybe your DM really doesn't like that artificer can pull a magic bag out of thin air. Maybe your DM doesn't like the idea of a monk running around with no armor in the frigid cold. Uh, once again, this is all about consulting with your DM, but also consulting with the other players as well. Maybe the group wants to have a fun theme of fighters and rangers in the party. Maybe your group really likes the idea of a bunch of ragged barbarians all you know, coming to the ten towns and getting involved with whatever's going on. Consider the class as a mechanism for fueling the campaign more than just a statistical set of numbers. Last and certainly not least, number five, have fun. Don't make a character that is going to be a drone on the party. Don't make the edgelord. Don't make the murder hobo. Make a character that is going to be a cohesive unit for both the PCs and most important of all, the players and the DM at the table. There is no reason why you shouldn't be able to make a character that gets along great with everyone else and makes for an awesome storytelling adventure. This is not an individual game, this is a group game. And you really need to have this in consideration whenever you're making a character, because you definitely want the other people to do the same for you. That's gonna wrap it up for this video, pretty short and sweet one, but I will definitely be coming out with more videos in the future. 
talking about this awesome campaign, which your DMs should certainly have their eyes on because we are going to be going in depth into this amazing adventure and other adventures to follow. Thank you all for watching. And uh, tell me, tell me a little about your uh, your own characters, because there is a lot of cool character designs in mine. One of my characters that's playing in the table here, uh, she is a uh, druid, and she is going to be summoning bears all the time. So maybe we'll add some little polar bear twist to it. Sounds like fun. Go ahead and tell me all about it in the comments below. That is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.